gonna do a little yoga session, stretch session, just for when I'm tired and feeling sore. So start just on your mat with your head pointing a direction. Wiggle. Oh, I could literally take a nap, but I need to stretch. I feel stiff. Just start to breathe and start to pay attention where you feel ten any tension. Could be your shoulders, hips, your legs, ankles, neck. Take one more deep breath. You inhale. We're gonna switch sides. So same thing on this side for a few minutes. At this point, extend your right arm and we're facing to the left. Put your left hand under your shoulder and this arm kind of extended straight out. We're going to push this like and open up. So use your right, your left hand and push yourself open and feel that shoulder stretch. Again, we can slowly bring our left leg to the ground behind us as we kind of peel ourselves open and breathe. Slowly come back down. Ex extend the left arm. We're gonna do it to the other side. So bring our head over here, left arm straight out. Right hand under our shoulders, we just kind of Open up, bring our leg over, and if it can find the ground, good. If it just kind of sits in the air, that's good too. Feel that stretch on my left chest area, and also my hips. Low back, just. Also doing a lot of twisting and stuff if you have like your period or just indigestion. This is really good. It like massages your <clears throat> organs and your intestines. Which is nice if you sit a lot or riding a lot and stuff. This is good to do. A lot of good spinal twists. Slowly come back. Oh. Uh. Okay. So I'm going to push myself up. I'm going to kind of engage your core and your glutes. So squeeze your glutes, engage your core, try and bring your belly button to your spine. Put your hands under your shoulder and push yourself up. <clears throat> so I don't know, for me, my leg, my shoulders are kind of sore. So I'm going to do this puppy pose. You want your, your feet parallel or your knees parallel to your hips your hips over your knees and we're just going to walk our hands forward and <clears throat> we're going to do it's called a uh, puppy pose so it's almost like down dog but on our knees and when we're extending our arms try and think of our elbows are rolling open so we're like this but i'm kind of like to see the inside of my elbow you like you almost want that pushing forward so we're not kind of collapsing we're kind of keeping <clears throat> our shoulder blades on our back and our elbows are kind of pushing forward and we're kind of almost like rotating, think of rotating outward instead of inward in, yeah. So we're gonna keep our hips over our knees, walk our hands forward. Remember, we're gonna try and keep our shoulder blades on our back as we lower down. And think of bringing your chest to the floor. And 
don't forget to breathe. And that was a good one. So from here I'm gonna go cross legged. This is gonna be a lot of on the mat and staying down. Like I said, if you're tired and you wanna do a couple stretches, just do something like this. It's great. So let's sit cross-legged and a little twist here. However you put your legs, we're gonna switch it. So put your other leg in front. So make it a little bit more uncomfortable to keep us balanced. We have a tendency to be a lot dominant on the one side. So I like to make that little, do a little um, kind of test to see what leg I always bring in front of me first, just by default. And then I like to switch it just so you're stretching a bit different areas. And just trying to keep your body more balanced and whatnot. So from here, I like to just hinge at my hips, keep my butt on the ground, hinge at the hips and Oh, like I feel my low back and my hips are kind of bothering me. So I'm going to focus on that. And when I roll, the side body kind of gets stretched nicely. So it's important to keep your hips on the ground and you're using kind of compelling forces. You're keeping, you're pushing your hip down while you extend your body upward, which makes for a good stretch. So with that being said, we're gonna walk our hands forward as much as we can. And the same thing, we're gonna kind of push the ground away with our hands. So push it away to keep our hips planted, but walk as much, walk as far forward as you can while pushing the ground away to put our hips to the ground and keep us nice and square. As you can see, that would help with riding just to keep even body weight, keep even hip pressure, because a lot of riding is our hips and sitting in the saddle. So if we're able to be mindful of sitting square and actually sitting on our hip bones or whatever bones they are, it'll just, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So from here, you can inhale, kind of lift your chest, exhale, fold. Again, same thing, push the ground away as you're doing that. Really get deep in this stretch. And you can stay still, you can rock side to side. I always like movement stretches, like I'm always usually rocking and moving in some way. But if you find a spot that just feels really good, definitely you wanna stay in one spot and just breathe into that spot that you feel, definitely do that. But yeah, I like to experiment and see if there's any other areas that I'm neglecting or that I should focus on. So I like to move. So while we're here, what we're going to do is let's take our left hand, walk it over top of our right, bring our right hand over. We're just going to reach over to the right corner. Again, keeping the ground pushing away because our left hip is going to want to lift up. But to really get this amazing side stretch we got to keep that hip down and push the ground away push our hip into the ground fall forward while we're kind of pushing at the same time and definitely breathe into the stretch feel the side feels awesome So from here, we're going to right hand over left, left hand, right hand over, and take it all the way to the left side. And we're pushing the ground away, keeping that hip down. And you're probably going to notice that both sides feel a bit different. Maybe a different spot where you feel a sensation, and that's fine. And make sure to breathe into the side. Kind of mentally visualize your inhale. The breath is traveling to that point of sensation that you're feeling. And try and breathe into that spot. 
So if it's your shoulder more, if it's your low back right here, just really try and visualize your inhales and your breath is going to that spot that you feel. So we're going to go back to center, see how that feels if we almost can go a bit lower. <sighs> Just really let everything hang. Let your hips hang or your head hang. Relax your hands now. So now when you're ready, inhale as you roll yourself up. So inhale, roll yourself up to seated. And that felt lovely. <sighs> Take a second to like kind of feel how that feels. <sighs> also, if you want to do some neck stuff, we can do we can do neck stretch. <sighs> okay, so <clears throat> keep our spine over top of our like straight up. So we're kind of strong posture. We're Head over shoulder, shoulder over hips, nice straight line. Think of almost a thread running like through everything and pulling us straight. So we're really sitting tall, a lot of integrity of just sitting up proper, nice and tall, like we have a string pulling from the top of our head and we're just lifted. From here, we're gonna do some nice neck rolls. So I love these. What we're gonna do is visualize making circles with our nose. So however you want, just think of a circle. You're drawing a circle with your nose. Start one way, obviously. Feel cracks, a lot of cracks. And then if you wanna go the other way, And then when you're ready, you go to either side of your shoulder, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do my left side. I'm just going to stop when my ear is kind of over top of my shoulder. Still staying really tall with my spine. Just try and bring the ear down to the shoulder. Don't lift the shoulder up, but bring that out. You feel that stretch along the side of your neck on the, for me, the right side. And then to make it a bit more intense, if this is good enough, definitely stay here. But if you want a little bit more, I want to feel a little bit different sensation, take your opposite arm and extend it out. Not a lot, nothing drastic, but just <clears throat> enough to maybe feel it a bit in different spots. If you want to put your hand more forward and feel the stretch, or you want to bring it further behind you, or just you can, like I said, the movements, if you want to almost like pet the mat side to side, feel that along your neck. And again, breathe into that. Feel, it almost, I feel like my jaw, you hold a lot of tension in your jaw and I for one grind my teeth. So I feel like my jaw takes a beating. So this feels nice. Nice neck on the neck. And then when you're ready, you can go back to center. <sighs> Take a breath. Go to the other side. Drop your ear to your shoulder. Feel that move. Keep your spine tall. Keep think of dropping your ear to the shoulder. And then you want to again extend the opposite arm out.
And then whenever you're ready, you can come back. That felt nice. Um, what else should we do? I feel like from here, when I'm usually cross-legged, I'll do some leg things. So extend one of your legs out, keep the other leg tucked in like you're cross-legged. Bring your toe towards you. So flex your toe back and then also roll your knee, everything in your thigh outward. So we're not collapsing. We're just gonna think of it, it's getting rolled outward. It's obviously not gonna look like it, but when we go down, we're, again, we're using two compelling forces. We're extending it outward and we're focusing on pushing it out while we go down. And that's where you're gonna get the best stretches when you're really mindful about how you can push that, pull it here and feel the stretch a bit better. So again, roll it outward as you just kind of lower down as much as you pop, as much as you can, but keeping your necks or your whole back straight. So really, I'm not leaning forward hardly at all, but I feel it a lot in my inner hamstring area. And as riders, I think this is gonna be so good for a preventative of injury. Hearing of people pull their hamstrings riding just sounds like not a good time. And I feel like if we did these type of stretches with our hamstrings and legs, we may prevent us from injuring ourselves. So let's do it. So toes flexed, rolling open and just breathe into that, that thing. <laughs> Whenever I'm stretching, it feels great. Try and only hinge at the hips. We're trying to keep our back straight for now and not focusing on stretching our back. We're mostly focusing on this. So don't try and impress anybody with how low you can go because it doesn't matter. Um, you can stay here as long as you like for the intention of trying to make this not a hundred years long video. I am going to now sit up tall, keeping our leg extended. I'm gonna rotate my hips to face that foot. So I might have to put my foot a bit more towards my knee now, because I'm not that flexible. But again, we're gonna kinda twist our hips over so we're more in line with our front foot. I wanna reach up, like nice stretch, and then I'm gonna fold forward. So here you can have your back bent. We're just gonna fold fold forward and if you want to feel more of a back stretch you can bend your knee quite a lot feel free to keep it pretty bent but always keep your toe flex or if you really want to feel a lot of hamstring straighten that leg out and that's what you will get so it's like having it bent a little today so the one thing to think about instead of going down we're just trying to reach forward we're trying to reach almost towards that foot so Think of your chest going towards your foot. Think of like reaching this way, not going down. We're trying to reach forward like this. And just obviously it's not going to totally look like that, but as long as you're mindfully doing that, then I could stay at this one for like a day, I swear. I feel it in my hamstring, my hip and my low back and you can experiment, you can rock side to side or like, you know, keep movement, move with your breath, you can inhale, lift, exhale, lower, do little waves. Again, almost lead with your chest when you go down. And it's always important you inhale and then exhale drop and try to have your exhale a bit longer than your inhale because the best stretches and the deeper the stretch the longer you're able to hold the exhale so that's how you're going to get the best stretches by not necessarily just longer inhales but even longer exhales is where your body really will release and you can go a bit farther than maybe you thought you could just by taking advantage of the breath All right, I'm gonna inhale and sit up. Gonna go back to center, cross the legs, 
and extend the other one. So same thing, facing forward, this legs off to the side, toe flex, rolling outward, rolling away, and we're just gonna fold in. It's gonna be different from each side. This side I feel like I like don't even move. I'm just like, er, okay, that's it. But again, doesn't have to look impressive. This would be great. I'm gonna go ride later, so this is a good one just to um, get my legs and low back more nimble for riding. So definitely do this before you ride if you want. And just breathe. Again, think of your breath is going to the area that you feel. You're kind of just listening to your body. You're taking this time to actually say, like, what's up? Just check in. Move yourself. Feel it. And then hold down as much as you can with every exhale. Long exhales. And then whenever you're ready, you can stay there as long as you like. But again, let's get going. So rotate your hips over to the front leg. Bend your knee, don't bend your knee, up to you. I'm gonna bend it a little. I'm gonna reach up, like oh. inhale up. And then exhale, chest to foot. So we're gonna reach this way and then we're here. Also, just take your time. If one side feels way worse, you realize that you're not as flexible. Again, it's not really about keeping it completely the same because our left and right sides are so different, but it's just good to be aware of it and just know that both sides are different. So don't expect to be totally balanced and that is okay. whatever feels nice at this moment if you want to move or you don't want to move I'm gonna roll myself back up and I'm gonna leave this there leave it here that felt so nice and I might do a few more twists maybe I'll show you the one I'm gonna do and if you want to do it I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but I'll just quickly show you if you want to try it because it is amazing and my back usually cracks when I do it so bonus points okay so on your back which kind of feels nice to just like lay here on a flat surface so have your knees kind of not like just as close as you can to your hips I like to lift my hip and like roll it to the sky like tilt my pelvis this way so I kind of lift and then I rotate so my back goes flat on the floor and that gives you a natural curve in your spine. So if you notice now you can kind of fit your hands under here. That's a good thing. That's like our natural spine alignment. So that's just a tip if you're on your back and you want to just like reset, lift your hips, roll it and then sit back down and you get a nice natural curvature. So anyways, the stretch. So I'm going to do this. It's kind of a two step process. So. I do this, this is like um, a laying down pigeon pose. So you go like this, toe flex, do whatever you want with your other foot, but you're just kind of bringing everything towards you and you'll really feel the stretch on your bent knee. So then you do that for a bit. From here, I extend my arms just straight out, cross my leg over all the way. And I'm, I'm gonna be folding towards this side to the right. So what I do is I lift my hips 
shimmy them a little over to the left. So I'm going to lift over to the left a little, then I'm going to drop as you exhale. That one feels not very good. But yeah, you just want to move your hips out of the way so you can get a really good stretch. So from here, I like to inhale really deeply. I'm going to inhale, shimmy, and exhale as you drop. That's it. You can look over to your opposite hand and breathe. <sighs> Inhale. Activate your abs. Bring yourself back to center. And you're done. Then I like to do this to just kind of like stretch it out. Reset myself. And then I go to the other side. So I do this. Hands out. Cross the leg, shimmy the hips over a little, look to this arm, to this hand as I rotate this way. So you inhale and exhale. <sighs> Done. Ugh. And then a little, little hug, a little hug for yourself. So <sighs> that was good. So try this, tell me if you like it. <laughs>